Hey, what's up? It's your boy, 24-7 here with 24-7 Fusion Media. Man, I heard this, and uh, I was trying to wrap my head around what was going on, but then I finally figured it out. So, this is what's going on. Reggae John Page posts amid Ray Fisher, Jeff John's Krypton controversy. I heard about the controversy yesterday. And hopefully they further explain what's going on here. Reggae John Page has spent the last few days explaining that he wasn't returning for the second season of Netflix Bringerton for no other reason than the fact that his character storyline is over and the focus shifting to other characters based on how the book series from Julia Quinn plays out. We have a feeling that the last thing he was expecting was to be pulled into what was an expose from the Hollywood Reporter going into further details on actor Ray Fisher's allegation of misconduct leveled at Josh Whedon and others with regard to the production of Justice League. But at one point in the report, when other non-Justice League allegations within Warner Media were addressed, there was a claim that DC Entertainment executive Jeff Johns had killed the possibility of Paige playing Superman's grandfather on the sci-fi prequel series Krypton because he's black. Wow. Wow. But you know what's fucked up about this? If it's true, it was kind of like it was just, you know how Ray Fisher didn't want to mention what was going on, to, you know, about how Josh Whedon was treating his cast members. He didn't want to mention any cast members names and he didn't want to throw anybody under the bus well basically with this scenario he he threw reggae john page up under the bus with this one the way he said it the way he uh came off with this whole krypton thing everybody knew that they were talking about reggae john page and see that's the kind of guy Ray Fisher is. He doesn't want to mention his his Justice League co-stars and what they say. But then when it comes to other people outside of that camp, he's ready to throw motherfuckers up under the bus. And he just threw his fellow actor up under the bus. Not fellow actor as far as like somebody he was in a show or a movie with. But just the fact that, you know, they're both, they're both actors. And if he couldn't say anything about his co-stars then why would he bring up this whole Krypton thing with uh, Reggae John Page? And I think that's pretty shitty of Ray Fisher. Though not directly addressing the claim or the series, Page did take to social media to share a message that rings close to the allegations that were made public. Hearing about these conversations hurt no less now than it did back then. The clarifications almost hurt more, to be honest. He wrote in his tweet, still just doing my thing, still we do the work. Page continued before ending his message with a very telling, we still fly. Page's representatives have not commented. Here's a look at Page's tweet from earlier today. And yeah, there you have it. There you have it. A representative for John spoke to The Hollywood Reporter stating that John's believed that audience would see the since canceled sci-fi series as a prequel to Zack Snyder's 2013 feature film Man of Steel. So they needed an actor who would work with white actor Henry Cavill's character family lineage. A major problem with that theory was floated by Fisher on Tuesday via Twitter where the actor noted that Michael Shannon's General Zod is white, but his actor's ancestors were portrayed by black actors. Here's a look at Fisher's tweet from yesterday. I appreciate Jeff Johns bringing on a crisis team to try to explain away his discriminatory behavior, but his excuses are weak. If Jeff believed his fans expected Superman's grandfather to look like a young Henry Cavill, why was he okay with Zod's not resembling Michael Shannon? That's, uh, that's what it is. So, as you can see here, that's it. So, what do you think about 
all this being said, but see, that's, that's the thing. Ray Fisher did it to where it blows back on reggae John page. And that's what I don't like. Like Ray Fisher has been doing all what he's been doing and trying to not involve other people or other situations that were not Jeff Johns, John Berg, or Walter Hamada, or Josh Whedon. But all of a sudden, he brings up this situation that directly has people looking back at Reggae John Page. And that's the thing. You know, it's all fucked up. And let's say even if it's true, it's fucked up. But the thing is, is that you bringing up, you know, a certain hurt or a certain pain to this gentleman... Reggae John Page that had to deal with it himself. And see, that wasn't up to Ray Fisher to do because he wasn't doing that to his own co-stars from the movie. So why would you bring that kind of uh, attention to Reggae John Page? That's my only uh, thing about this that I don't like. But at least... Reggae John Page spoke up for himself, said what he had to say, and he was like, well, fuck it, man. You know, we got to keep on moving. So I get it. I get it. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this shit in the comment section below. What do you think about Ray Fisher, uh, his allegations more or less shining light on Reggae John Page and what he went through because that was him put in that situation. Me, uh, I think it's pretty fucked up because Ray... Could have said everything he had to say, but didn't have to bring up somebody else's situation because he wasn't bringing up what was going on with Gal Gadot. He never talked about that shit once. So how are you going to talk about this man's situation? That's my only thing. You know, you picking and choosing, you know, how you want to do this. Well, shit, man. You ain't, you, now you got everybody looking at, at uh, Reggae John Page and that, Ray Fisher wrong as fuck for that. But that's my personal opinion. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this shit in the comment section below. Please share, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy, 24-7 with 24-7 Fusion Media. And I'm out. Peace.